Hey, El Thrand here. Uh, I wanted to update everybody and let everybody know what's going on. Uh, Elgrim has gotten a little ill. He's been feeling well, Elgrim. Uh, we've had a lot of work and things going on this week, so we haven't got out our part two to the perils of knife defenses that don't work. Uh, we wanted to do that. It's going to be a lot of fun, but we didn't have our cameraman show up the day we were going to shoot it. So we ended up uh, redoing the testing that we had done that everybody had suggested they wanted to see it secured. They wanted to see something better ballist than ballistics gelatin because we already talked about that in one of our videos that ballistics gelatin is not really good for cutting. It cuts too easily and you could just kind of push the blade into it or even if you really wanted to sit there and slowly push your fingers through it and do the mull around thing and just pull the heart out of the you know, if it was a ballistics gel torso. But uh, no, I'm just making a joke there. But uh, yeah, we went ahead and redid that for you all and we did that as a viewer's reply upon request because a bunch of people requested it. We like to do what people ask for, and we want to finish up with the actual knife defense uh, video where we can actually have a cameraman, because you saw with uh, Skelligrim, who we're replying to, Skelligrim uh, Nelson, that uh, he had a tripod. It's very difficult to do that. He was sitting there doing knife defense with his, his wife, and I want to say a happy 13th anniversary to y'all. I uh, saw your video, Skelligrim, and uh, I think I left a comment on there saying that. Uh, but no, basically we're just... Uh, confirming a lot of things he said, we're just going to be actually showing some real knife defense and we want it to be raw. We want to be real. We want that, uh, you know, prison shake thing where the guy comes in and goes nuts and see if we can catch that arm, if we can stop it, move, dodge, keep him at bay. Uh, you know, all the different techniques will bring up different ideas, uh, actually demo it and, uh, you know, and show different ideas because people are asking, well, what can you do that's legal? You know, what kind of, you know, can you do in different areas it's illegal to help defend yourself against knives that's kind of why we did the uh, uh, fabrics and so on because it's kind of like having cloth armors having like real heavy denim or you know it, it helps uh, stop edges you know and we kind of I think we proved that pretty well uh, I mean I'm sure there's some circumstances where you might get surprised and somehow something's really tight to your leg or your legs really taut or tense at the moment doesn't move or you move into it just right and might cut through deeper or something but when we got it wasn't real impressive on the actual cuts from small knives uh, we wanted to thank everybody for going to Patreon and giving us uh, uh, donations a month. I mean, if you go there and you become a patron and you actually donate something a month, it helps us out immensely because we want to do all this really awesome stuff. We want to do stuff like we wished we would have seen on Deadliest Warrior or stuff we'd like to have seen on the History Channel that they didn't do. And we take your requests uh, seriously. I mean, not just if you donate to us, but if you give us requests, we, we look at how many people are wanting to see this or that, and whether we've been wanting to do it, if we're interested in it, and we try to make it come true. So right now, we've met the goal for having the uh, rawhide shield, the Viking round shield, three foot round, uh, proper, uh, you know, about the proper uh, quarter inch to fifth of an inch thickness of the wood, and actually the lamination being what gives it its uh, durability and uh, stopping power for arrows and so on. We're going to try that against uh, possibly various arrowheads and uh, black powder weapons all the way up to modern firearms with the chain behind it. You know, over, we've got some mannequins. Uh, I'm going to fill it with ballistic shell, hopefully. Uh, we'll have the padding and the actual chain that will actually be real chain. You know, not just bent together, butted mail that wasn't normally used in Europe or early period even. You know, that's more of a reenactor thing. We're going to use the real mail on that and see if the rounds can actually make it through the shield, which ones can make it through if some can't, and if they actually go deep enough to injure the uh, warrior. Uh, I think that'd be very interesting because it'll kind of be like revisiting the uh, pirate versus knight um, deadliest warrior, and we want to do that too. We've got a uh, heater shield we are going to cover in parchment. Parchment is very common paper. But the problem was Vikings probably didn't normally do that because parchment was very expensive in their era as far as I know. That wasn't something they would have an abundance of to cover a shield with. I'm not saying anyone never used parchment then. We don't know. But I think it would be more common. It's more common to use really thick, heavy raw hides. And uh, possibly linens, if they could get enough linen. Because linen was expensive too, but it could be made. You know, They could possibly use multiple layers of tight woven linen like they would do for some gambesons and stuff. We have multiple layers stitched together, maybe some felt and padding or so on. Uh, but we want to see what that'll do with a breastplate and the heater shield and see what the black powder weapons actually really do because Deadliest Warrior never tested the shield and the armor together to see if it could even penetrate both. Or even if it could penetrate the shield. They never tested an actual shield, I mean, for the night episode. And it'd be cool to do that. We really want to do that. And we also have our helm from Medieval Shop coming out where we're going to test that against firearms, because we already promised that. We've tested it against melee weapons, 
If we can get anything heavier duty as a melee weapon, we may start off with that. You know, if we could actually get a real pole axe or something, an actual uh, looser and hammer or something, it'd be nice. But I really don't think what we test against it's going to go, you know, do anything more than it's already done. Uh, what we'd like to do though is actually shoot that with some firearms that are at different ranges and with different types, like I said, the black powder weapon and so on, because that would be more earlier period and see what that'll do. That is a 12 gauge helmet. That's ridiculous. They had iron helmets and probably not that thick, but this is doing it from an evil shot, testing that thing out to see what kind of, uh, you know, how great that helm would perform that way. So we bit heavy, but it's a good helm. I like the helm. Uh, we wear that in a lot of our videos. You've seen us wear the spanking helm with a nasal. Uh, we also have a shipment of blades coming in from Medieval Shop. Uh, one of them is supposed to be a Kirkry. Uh, and different blades. And we had active blades, actually, and sharpened blades. Uh, which we will be using in some of our videos for actual demos and fighting and so on. Uh, I don't want to go on too long talking about all this, but some of the stuff we have in the works, just to let you know. Uh, we have uh, a spear and shield video. The uh, Viking round shield or 9th century round shield spear and shield. Uh, we have an axe and shield video, which is an axe hanging behind me. Uh, we're going to work with the bearded in and show different techniques and use of that for disarms, hooking, uh, throwing, balance, all kinds of stuff with the shield. We've got some really good techniques we want to go over and ideas of how they could have possibly performed some of these feats you see in the sagas. Uh, we want to do that. Um, let's see what else we have in plan. We have so many different things that we've been wanting to get out. We've just been having trouble bringing it to fruition, like the, the shooting the shield shooting the shield, shooting the armor through the shields, and the helm test. Uh, we have to get that set up. We have a friend who has property we might be able to use out in the country, which is legal to fire firearms there. Or we may be going to a local firing range that's out there, a firing range that has a really big area, and they'll let us do it. We're trying to talk with them right now and see if they'll, they think it's safe enough for us to do so. So that's some of the things that are holding us back. And like I said, Elgrim got sick and a lot of work. But we thank everybody for going to Patreon. If you can, go to Patreon. And, uh, I'm going to update the goals there. We already got the goal for the shield. We're going to do that. The uh, rawhide shield, the parchment shield, which I didn't even mention on there, and the armor. Uh, with the ballistic shell, that's one of the reasons I was experiment, experimenting with ballistic shells, because I want to use it for the actual firearms to see what it does through the armor, because that would be a good medium, you know, to use for that. Some kind of penetration if it goes through at all. Uh, we have that. Uh, a sling video. We're going to show how to make lead sling bullets uh, and throw them and see what kind of damage they can do. You know, did they really impale flesh? Could they go through any kind of armor? You know, I mean, from my experience with slings, I love slings. I, I don't think it was anything amazing that David killed Goliath in the old legend. I mean, if you hit him in the forehead and it was uncovered, I think you'd be dead with the proper sling bullet. Uh, they were normally lead. It's kind of like us doing a Gorn cannon video. If you saw our Gorn cannon video, uh, we actually really made a Gorn cannon powder, you know, with no real volume metric measuring tools just by portions of how you know like using your anything to scoop with and we fired lead shot in it because we tried crystals and even though we had a scaled down cannon because we couldn't find a large enough piece of bamboo which i plan on doing that eventually i will get a full size piece of bamboo and make a blunderbuss out of it it's not an actual cannon like in mythbusters it is a blunderbuss you know it's, if you want to check that out we have that on a working gorn cannon uh and then we have our other one uh gorn cannon confirmed mythbusters busted uh we just did that because we think they did it all wrong. They didn't even pay attention to the way the episode put it together. But uh, we have that, the sling bullet one. And I also have one more thing I'm thinking about doing because somebody wanted to see if mail could be sheared. Under my impression, people talk about that all the time unless it's some really frail, thin mail and it was against a bone or something. I don't see that happening. But with maybe an axe against a chopping block type situation, like if it was against a bone or a hip bone and you moved right into it and there was no padding or anything and it was just against you, Maybe it would probably shatter the bone, but it might cut some of the rings. I'm not talking about slicing clean through the chain like it's a piece of material. I'm talking about it, it might cut through some of the rings like if you were cutting the shears. We might test that to see if there's any way we can even try to shear mail because somebody wanted to see that. It does sound interesting to blow that theory because in our opinion, you can't even thrust through it. But I don't want this video to go on forever. I just want to keep you updated. Uh, if you could subscribe to our channel, check our videos, we'd appreciate it. Uh, Tell us if you like our videos. If you don't, give us comments down below. I'd like you all to give me as many comments as you can about what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, if you like the ideas I just uh, brought up. Oh, and we still plan on revisiting the Spartan versus Ninja slash Samurai. The reason I called it that is because a lot of times the Samurai was the leader of the Ninja. I mean, that's the problem. People don't understand. They weren't peasants, per se. They're from Iga and Koga. And uh, they were warring all the time. And they had sword schools. And they worked with fireworks. And they... They had their own 
uh, Shinto style of, of combat where they didn't follow the ways of Buddha, so to speak. They just wanted to win. That was it, protect their, their families. And they warred with each other, and any daimyo they tried to come in and take over, they would definitely fight them back or find ways to uh, manipulate them. So it's just more the old ways. But uh, we'll, we'll want to re uh, redo that as well and have a spear video where we try some different techniques with the Spartan Shield and uh, Dory and see if it's more feasible in single combat that way because I've noticed there's different methods than I used in the other videos and, and different ideas from uh, drawings and historical references and that, that manner like vases and so on. You know, people say you can't get anything from that. That seemed to make sense, that it might work better that way. We'd like to try that and they're working on a style for that. But anyway, I'll see you all later. Sorry I made so long a video. I apologize. And I just want to keep you in the loop, let y'all know what's going on, help us out if you can on Patreon. Be sure to subscribe and refer our videos to people, let people know about our videos. Anyway, Farvel, nice seeing y'all, and we plan on getting more stuff out quickly.